I'm Royal, I'm rank 1 in Wild Rift and I'm playing on a fresh new account all the way from unranked to challenger. I'll be playing every role with many different champions to show you how to climb and win in every elo. Yo what is up YouTube, I'm Royal and today in unranked challenger we're starting in gold 2 and we're playing the swing build that I showed off on my last video. This is a Chinese swing build that I found out from watching Chinese streamers. So the whole concept of it is you go Rylize into a tanky AP build. And if the enemy team doesn't have a lot of mobility, which they don't this game, that's the reason I picked Swain. Since the enemy doesn't have a lot of mobility, they're stuck in my Rylize forever. And since I'm tanky, they can't kill me and I keep sustaining. So I took a very bad trade level 1 versus Lux. Versus Lux, you want to be dodging her first ability. Or staying behind minions so the minions block it. So here I do a very good trade because I anticipate her first ability and I'm able to block it. She's not respecting my level 2 while she's level 1 and I managed to hit my third ability and take on first blood without even having ignite. I have exhaust this game. I'm gonna push out the wave and look to get a base off. So going back to the build. This is a great build against mostly AD champions like the enemy team has. They only have Lux for AP because they're rocking the double ADC dual lane, which you so very often see in lower elos. I actually have an echo support that was begging me to go mid and I said no, so you just picked echo support. But that's not a big deal. I can I can see echo being a good support. So the enemy has a lot of short ranged AD champions. So when I go Rallies and Frozen Heart, I'm gonna be really hard to kill. Oof, dodging her first ability. And I just wanna farm up. I don't really wanna overextend. I am slightly overextended here, but I do see Pantheon on the top side. So I'm not really worried about ganks. And this is a pretty important uh this is a pretty important aspect of the game in laning phase. I see Pantheon in top side and I'm playing in the bot side. Because if I play top side, he'll just come and gank me easily. And now she comes in to gank me and since I'm playing to the bot side, I can just walk back and I'm fine. And I waste his time. So in the laning phase, you want to stay away from where the enemy jungler is and where your jungler and stay on the side of your jungler. This is a basic fundamental of laning phase. So when you see the enemy jungler now, I know that the enemy jungler is bot side, right? So I'm not gonna play to the bot side, I'm gonna play towards the top side. I do have a lot of vision bot side, so I'm safe either way. So I don't worry too much. Now I have the level of lead on the Lux, so I'm trying to look for a more aggressive play. I don't have enough damage, when does so little damage early into the game, so I don't have enough damage to burst her down really. At this point I might do, I'm waiting for my 30 build to come back up. I do miss it, unfortunately. I'm not sure if I'm making a mistake here, or if maybe I could be going more aggressive. I'm not really 100% sure of Swain's damage just yet. I don't have too much experience with him. So I'm not sure if I could have killed her there, even with my even with missing my third ability. So I'm, I managed to stop her recall. I'm just pressing her as much as I can, trying to hit my third ability on her. So she's low HP, has no mana, I'm pushing the wave, I see Lee Sin coming for the dive. And he's able to hit his first ability. She flashes right into my hands and I will be picking up that kill. I'm gonna stay for the plating but I do see Pantheon and that's very annoying but Lee Sin is here. I do have exhaust so I try to bait the play but unfortunately Lee Sin ults Pantheon when he has his uh, third ability up. So now that I've proc my ult, I feel kind of safe. I have Lee Sin nearby. I'm still trying to bait this play. I do hit my third ability, but Lee Sin's actually not able to clean him up. He does go down the Pantheon. Maybe that was a misplay from me baiting him in, but I really thought that Lee Sin could have cleaned that up. I dodged the Pantheon Spear and now I'm gonna go base and get my Rylies. Okay. Look at my Echo Support smurfing it up. The score is 3-6. We unfortunately have a Yasuo in the solo lane that's 0 2 0 already. So the enemy team will have a fat Darius, which is a big problem for me because Darius counters me. So, this is a very important thing to do with Swain. You can cancel enemy champion recalls very easily if you see where they base with your second ability and you want to abuse that as much as possible to get an early lead. But, like I said, Darius is actually a big counter to us because he's one of the few champions that can literally just kill us through our ult. And Yasuo, this guy's solo kill, good for him. 
But yeah, like I said, Yasuo is one of the few champions I can kill through a ult. I see Pantheon going top lane, and I can counter gank this. I'm very strong, I have my rallies. I don't have my ult yet. But we're gonna be able to kill the Pantheon. And now Jinx is a little called out too. Now I can just perma slow her with my rallies and my red buff. And we're able to clean her up. I missed my third ability on the MF. I missed my second ability too. But my ulti comes back up in time and we're able to clean her up as well. So it was a very good roam by me. I do miss a few minions mid lane, but that was a 3 kill play, I got 2 kills and an assist. So overall that was a great play even though I missed some minions mid. So I'm gonna start building towards my frozen heart, I accidentally got some AP, but that's gonna be okay, that will build into something eventually. I will start building into my frozen heart now. The enemy team does get the dragon steal. So I couldn't really stay because I had such low HP. So I decided to base, but maybe I should have stayed to make sure my team secures the dragon. I don't think we have changed much though, Pantheon would still ult and steal it. And again, Pantheon is very overextended, going into the stride bush like he just did. So I'm gonna go and see if I can do something. I do have the exhaust to stop his burst damage and me and Echo are able to take him down. Unfortunately, Echo does go down. This was a bit of a weird roam because I'm losing a lot of stuff mid. So I'm kind of hoping that Lee Sin will go mid now and defend the wave while I push top lane with Jin. Good flash by Jin to get the MF. He exhausts her and gave me the opportunity to hit my third ability. He does go down unfortunately, but it's still very worth for us because I'll be able to pick up a lot of platings while the MF loses all this farm under turret. Actually, I'm not sure who the enemy ADC is. Is it MF support or Jinx support? I'm not quite sure. So here's the Jinx. I don't think we can dive her. I would need the Echo to tank, but I don't know if we will have enough damage. So I realized I'm only a few hundred gold away from getting my item. So I'm gonna stay for another wave. I am hoping someone will eventually go and defend mid lane. While I'm top lane. So I'm able to just clean up the wave. The enemy ADCs are trying to zone me back. I get both of their ults out. I'm looking for a base, but I see both minions are quite low HP. So I'm just gonna clean those up. Before I recall. So now that I'm gonna be able to get my frozen heart. I'm gonna be so tanky. Especially against the double ADCs that the enemies have. Because of how much armor I'm gonna have. So now I don't really want to be going mid lane that much. I want to look to go into a side lane and let my Jin stay mid lane where it's safer for him. Where there's sp less space for Pantheon to ult, it's harder to overextend. So to help him out, I'm going to be going to a side lane, but it looks like Jin is also coming to a side lane with me. Which is not ideal. So I'm just clearing the wave now so I can rotate. However, the enemies are pushed quite far up, so I'm gonna ult and get my permanent slow on them with rallies. They both flash back, but I'm so strong, I'm just gonna go for the dive. I can tank turret for so long with my frozen heart and my sustain from ultimate. And I'm just able to easily tower dive them with just rallies and frozen heart. Pantheon is able to stun me, but I'll flash away. And I'm just trying to kite back with my rallies. I'm very low HP. And you dodge the spear, and I do manage to dodge it. Get my third ability. And I'm able just to get him with Jin, so I do survive and we get the Pantheon, this is the best case situation. So at this point I'm very very fed, I'm gonna go into my Rift Maker and then Amaran's Twin Guard. So while I am very fed, the game is still pretty close, the kills are 16 to 12 and we've lost Dragon. Oof, good ultimate by the Echo. And I just walk up and I'm able to pick up the Lux. So while I am very far ahead, my team is not doing too well. Pantheon and Yasuo just got double killed. Or Pantheon just got double kill on Yasuo. And Lee Sin. So I'm still trying to get a turret, get some platings. I get stunned by Pantheon. I do have my ulti, so I will be able to survive a little longer. I do want to stay in range of my rallies and my ulti to keep rocking it. And I'm just so strong. Even this Pantheon that's so fed is not able to do damage to me. It's, he's not able to kill me. I'm just able to walk in with my ulti and rallies. 
tank his entire damage and slowly take him down with my damage. So if it's this strong right now, just imagine how strong it's gonna be once I get Rift Maker and Amaranth. And I up my sustain, I up my damage, and I up my survivability as well. So this is a great thing you can do when you are able to get killed. So the enemy jungler is dead, and I'm immediately counter jungling him, right? I'm getting free farm. Now we see Jinx, that's called out, and I'm gonna go get a free kill. So this is what you can so often do in low elo. There's just so many resources everywhere you can be farming, and the enemies are constantly called out. So I'm able to clean up the Jinx, and Pangolin comes again with his ulti. I drop the exhaust immediately when he's about to do damage, right? That's when you want to drop your exhaust. And I'm just constantly slowing him with rallies. I'm gonna be able to easily hit my third ability on him. Once he is melee range with me, there's absolutely nothing he can do because of my constant rally slows. My team did a little bit of a fight in the mid lane, and Darius was able to pick up Echo and Lee Sin, but he will go down for that. But like I said, in lower elos especially, it's so easy to just farm the entire map. There's so many resources that go untaken by either teams. And then you can just go in the silence and get free kills all the time because enemies are constantly overextending. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my third item, Rift Maker. I'm gonna get my Gargoyles and I'm gonna build it towards my Amaranth's Twin Guard. So Gargoyles is kind of needed this game because the enemy team does have a lot of burst, right? They have Pantheon that's really fed, they have Darius that's really fed, they have Lux that does a lot of burst damage, MF ultimate. So if I get CC'd, I can, they can easily burst me down. So. I immediately go to zone the enemy jungler, right? I ignore the Drake, I don't wanna keep doing dragon, I wanna finish the enemy jungler. And after we finish him, we can easily go to dragon. There's no reason to risk a steal when I'm when we're this strong. So if the enemy jungler is trying to steal, stop the dragon, focus the enemy jungler, and then finish it up. Jinx is a little called out, I'm trying to see if I can get my second ability and I can't. I do see Darius a little caught out, so I'm hoping me and Lee Sin can take him down. Lux does surprise me, I pop my ulti. Thankfully Darius did an immediate ult by mistake, I think. And I'm able to kind of run away and survive, but Lux, it's a great first ability. I'm flashing away and I'm trying to kite this Darius. And look how easy it is to kite this Darius with constant rally slows and it's playing at the maximum range of my first ability in ultimate. Unfortunately, we will lose this fight, and this is a mistake I made. This is my mistake here. It's not my team's fault. I tried to make a bad play. I didn't consider that the enemy team might be behind Darius. I played into the fed Darius instead of playing away from him. And now me and Echo are trying to fight mid. We are able to get the Darius. And I'll get the healing plant. Maybe I can continue chasing. He actually gets the Panther by himself, and now we've kind of sandwiched... Uh, the Jinx, so we'll be able to pick that up as well. I'm very fed right now. I'm 14, 0, and 6, but the game is still fairly close. We're only 9 kills up. So when I'm this fed, it's kind of scary when the game is this close, and that's mostly because of our Yasuo. That's 170, our Baron Lane Yasuo. So I'm missing 300 gold from my Twin Guard. I'm just gonna go immediately, farm a couple camps, and then go and get that. So I can get my big final power spike. I'm gonna build probably into Leandris this game since they don't have a lot of magic damage for me to go Spirit Visage. So I just need one more camp. I'm not gonna get the blue buff yet so my jungler can get it and we both get it that way. I'm gonna go for the Skull Crab. I just want my team to not really do anything until I'm able to get my Twin Guard. My first ability cooldown is actually really low even though I have like Barely an ability haste. I think I only have ability haste from Frozen Heart. I guess Rift Maker has ability haste too. But yeah, it kind of feels weird to play with no mana item. I guess my mana item is Frozen Heart, but like no AP mana item like Ludens or Order of Ages. So unfortunately, Jin is gonna take that. So I'm gonna wait for Lee Sin to get the blue buff. This way, we both get it. Obviously, if your jungler is just not going for it, feel free to take it. Like, you don't want to have no blue buff just because your jungler is like AFK. So I'm going to go push out mid and get priority in that lane. Pantheon does ult me, I didn't consider the Pantheon ult, but I am very fed. So let's see if I'm able to 2v1 the fed Pantheon, the fed Darius. So I'm trying to kite them out, I'm trying to kill the Pantheon. And I have max stacks of the Darius ult. 
and I just barely survive thanks to my twin guard. I have to flash away from his flash first ability, and I'm just constantly slowing them down, and my team is finally able to come here and help. But I just managed to survive with s for so long. Why an insane build? I'm getting so much healing. Like, Darius had full stacks on me. He ulted me. He kept hitting me with his full stacks. That gives him, like, insane AD increase. So we're thankfully able to take him down. That was an important fight right there. If I died right there... Because that was a bit of my mistake to not consider the Pantheon ult and overextend mid lane. But if I died right there, we would probably lose the game without Darius... Shutdown gold. Oof. So my second ability comes in clutch. And now I'm pinging my team to go for the Baron. Unfortunately, my Jin is top lane. My team is not really coming, even though I'm spamming it. So now we need everybody to come and do it. Pantheon shouldn't have ult yet, so he has to walk all the way. Yasuo is pathing bot lane. I'm not sure if it's a bot or he's AFK or what he's doing, but he's feeding quite hard while also not playing with the team. So I don't know what my Jin is doing here. I think he can, he's trying to oil attack it over the wall, and he does finally manage. I didn't even know Jin could do that, but he does manage to oil attack it over the wall. And we get the Baron just in time. Now I'm gonna pop my ulti and chase down this Pantheon. He just can't escape my rally slow, so he just perma slowed until I finally managed to kill him. My damage isn't very high, right? Because I've only built two damage items and two tank items. But even without my damage being very high, I'm able to just pick him off. So in base, I can't really get a full item, so I don't wanna waste my Baron. And that's when I immediately pressure the enemy team, especially with Yasuo pushing bot lane. Jinx is very overextended, however, I don't have a lot of damage. Yeah, I, I don't have a lot of burst damage. I can't really take care of the Jinx. I just have slow, consistent, sustained damage. So he's my gargoyles in front of three people, and I'm just so tanky. They can't do anything. My ult is coming up in three seconds, but even without my ulti, I'm just so tanky, and my sustain is so high. I don't have a lot of HP. I have a bit of mana, and we don't have a lot of minions, so I'm just gonna recall and get my last item, get my Leandries. You could also maybe go death cap here, but I can't afford it, so I'm just gonna get the Leandries. And that's gonna make my consistent damage even higher. Unfortunately, my team does overstay, Jin does overstay, and he does get caught. So I'm gonna go get blue buff, which I take extremely slowly, honestly, for how fed I am. So I'm gonna leave it to Lee Sin. Oh, I think my Leandries actually took it. That is unfortunate. Oh, he's mad about it, too. He's sitting AFK. <laughs> he drops the emote, though, so it's fine. We're all good. So now I'm gonna go and pressure top lane with whatever I have left of my Baron, but I catch Pantheon off guard. I can spam my first ability on him, but obviously I'm not gonna be able to kill him because I just don't have a lot of damage with this build. I am playing a sustained tanky Swain build. But look how tanky I am, look at my HP. And I can constantly kite this Darius too if I play it properly. I can keep him just outside, I can stay just outside of his pull range and just constantly slow him like that. And Pantheon is ulting on to me. Of course, I'm keeping a safe distance. I'm gonna pop my ult and I'm now in a 2v1 situation with Pantheon and Darius again. Now I just wanna stay away from the Darius. That's my main goal. But he does flash on me. I'm just still so tanky for them. There's nothing they can do. And my team is coming for the cleanup. And we're able to get them. As we were getting into higher elos, we're almost in plat. I think a lot of, ch a lot of players this game are plat. My teams are getting consistently better and better, which is nice to see, and they can follow up in a lot of my plays. I'm gonna have to drop the exhaust on Jinx, because he actually does so much damage on me when I don't have my ulti. She can just consistently hit me and take me lower. This will probably be the last game that I cover in gold. After this, I'm gonna play some games and get plat, and then start covering some plat games, where I know that a lot of my viewers are. Plaid, Emerald, and Diamond are to be the most common ranks of my viewers. I know there's some Master players too. Oof. And we're able to pick up the Lux as well. Now we just want to play the macro game correctly. We have Yasuo pushing bot lane. Ooh, great kick by, by Lee Sin. We just want to play the macro game correctly. Oof, he was trying so hard to go for my Lee Sin, but he's not going to be able to do it. I stun him and put him in his place. So now we're just playing the macro game correctly. We're pushing the two lanes that still have inhibitors up. And we should be able to end the game momentarily since all of them have died due to our Elder Dragon. Oof, the flash kill. So this game should put us in like gold one range. So thank you so much for watching. Comment what champions I should play next. 
Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more Wild Rift content.